Okay, in this video we're going to go over some Punnett squares and these Punnett squares are already drawn for us so all we have to do is use them to compare the probability of what traits will be in an offspring if we know the genotype of the parents. So let's pick a eye color to start off with. So let's and now let's say light eyes light eye color and we'll give the genotype for that let's say capital lowercase b now we know it's lowercase b because it is recessive and the recessive gene is always symbolized by a lowercase letter and let's say dark eyes would be dominant and that would have a genotype of capital B. Okay. Alright, so now we have to determine that we have to know the genotype of one parent. And let's say that both parents have brown eyes. So one parent has a dominant gene for brown eyes because if they have brown eyes they have to have the dominant allele. An allele is a type of gene that can be dominant recessive or a particular uh, gene for a particular trait, like eye color. So we have a dominant allele for brown eyes in one parent, and a dominant allele for brown eyes in the other. And let's say that we have a recessive allele for blue eyes in both parents too. Now this is going to be a hybrid or heterozygous genotype for both of them. And their phenotype is going to be brown eyes. Or dark eyes. Okay. So genotype is hybrid genotype and phenotype is the physical characteristic that's dark eyes. Both parents are hybrid genotypes or heterozygous and their phenotype is for dark eyes. So we put the genotype of one parent above the column or the column heading and then the other genotype would be along the top as well, the column heading. And the other parent would go along the row heading, right there. And then we have the second gene in the second row. Okay, to combine them and to use the Punnett square, we want to bring the top ones down to each square. So the capital B will bring down. This goes down here. This goes down there. We go to the next column heading. In this case, we have the lowercase, the recessive allele. Bring that down, bring that down. Okay. Now we've done the top two, so now we're going to go along the rows. In the rows, we have to bring one over to each cell in our Punnett square. So we bring this one over to the one to the right. We bring this one over to the one to the right. Well, normally, when we write genotypes, it's to keep organized, but it's not necessary, but keep the the capital or the dominant allele first. And then we bring this next row, we bring it to the right. This one we bring to the right as well. So these are the four possible genotypes. So we have, now as we go through, we can look at the phenotypes. So which one's going to have dark eyes? So this one is going to be homozygous because it's the same two genes, two dominant, pure, or purebred, dark. This one is going to be heterozygous, hybrid, 
but the phenotype is dark because the dominant gene overpowers or masks the recessive gene. Go to this one. This one again is heterozygous hybrids. But the phenotype is dark. So you can have homozygous dark, which is purebred, or hybrid dark if you have two different genes. Now this one is going to be homozygous, purebred, light. So we have the phenotypes. We have three out of four possibilities for dark eyes and one out of four. So three out of four is 75% dark because it's probability. And one out of four is 25% light. And we can show that on our outcomes. So this shows us that it is possible to have a two brown-eyed parents to have a blue-eyed son or daughter. And it is a 25% chance.